And I'm going to look in this uh, little area. This is a little side shoot of the river, but it's always running. And I see some stone flies on the rocks. So this is probably a decent place to look for bugs under the rocks. I see a big stone fly on the rock right there. Be right on this rock. Look at the size of that guy. Got some pretty big stones there. Salmon flies actually. That size. Look at this stone fly shuck. There's some big flies. You look at the size of my fingers. Yeah, look at that shuck. Some big stone flies in here. This is a pretty freshly hatched one too. It's not too dried out yet. Check out this rock here. Got a couple of Helgramites here. Look at them going. Oh, he's pinching my finger. Look at him. There's another one here. There's a little mayfly. And here you can see these rocks are stuck to the other rock. This is from the web building caddis. And there it is right there. Turn it over. Look at that nice green it is. Oop. Flip him over one more time. A nice web building caddis. Here's another one. You can tell the rocks are stuck to the large rock. And there's the caddis. Right in there, another one with the green on the bottom. There's a small one, and what they do is they build that web, just kind of like a spider web, and they uh, filter out their food in that web. Oh, there's a smashed one, that's a green one, but he's got smashed probably when I picked up the rock. Put that one back. This is a dragonfly nymph. They're only that big when they're nymphs. That long body must be curled up inside that abdomen there. He's kind of playing like he's a stick or something. That's a dragonfly nymph there. And we'll go ahead and put him back in. Here is a case building caddis. And this is wood and a couple pebbles and stuff. And these, these are really hard to pull apart. But there's a caddis inside there. I'm gonna go ahead and softly pull that apart. You can see that air bubble coming out. I think I killed the caddis inside, but there's a caddis inside these. But that's the case building caddis.
There's another of the case building caddis. It's actually empty. He's hatched out already. All right, here's a stonefly. This is a smaller one. Little stone. You can see the belly is a different color than the top. And that's why I say I believe the, the key to fishing the stonefly nymphs is having two different colors. Here we have, we had uh, several different kinds of bugs just off this little side piece of the stream. A lot of life in here. Water for the most part is pretty cold, or at least cool. There's not a lot of summertime months where it's really getting warm well into the 70s. Low 70s I would say up here. But uh, just keeps the, uh, that's what keeps the River thriving and those trout thriving.